Today's topic, adding and removing links in the rich text editor. Okay, so here we are at the front page and uh, looking at the front page, a couple things I want to point out. Number one, I have some buttons across the top of the page here. Uh, these buttons have images and these images are linked to specific pages. Uh, all of these pages are pages that are outside of the Canvas system. So if I click on any of those, it takes me directly to that site. Uh, it takes me out of Canvas into that site, so I have to hit the back button in order to go back into Canvas. Or if I want to remain in Canvas and go to that outside site, I can right-click, open link in a new tab, and now it keeps me inside of Canvas, but my tab that allows me to go to Power Teacher is right next door. Okay, so I can do that here, and also for text links, this particular link is inside of Canvas, but it still would take me there and out of the page I'm on, but I want to go to that page and stay on this page as well, so I click, right-click, open link in a new tab, and you can see it's loaded right here. Okay, so let's go to editing because I want to show you how to remove these links and how to add these links. And so I'll show you how to remove them first and take out those two current links, and then we'll add them back in. So I'm going to go to my image and click on it. When I click on the image, this highlights gray. That tells me that there is a link already there, and I can remove that link. So I'm going to click on that, okay, and that takes that link away. So now when I highlight the image, notice it doesn't turn gray. If I highlight the image next to it, it should, because there's still an active link there. So I'm going to go back to this button, highlight it. I'm going to click on link to URL. That opens up this window. Now I'm going to go to where I want to link it, and I want to link it to Power Teacher. So I'm going to go into the address bar or the Omni box, and I'm going to copy this uh, the way that I copy is I just hit Control c that copies it automatically into the clipboard. You could right-click and copy as well. Go back here. Now I want to paste. I use Control v but you could also uh, right-click and paste. Now insert the link. Notice that this has turned gray again, indicating there's an active link on that image. Okay, and I'm going to go down here to my calendar link. Okay, and I'm just going to, I can either highlight the entire thing or just highlight anywhere inside of it. Notice this is gray again, telling me that I have an active link if I want to remove it. Now it's gone. To link to a text, I just highlight the entire block of text that I want linked. And I go over to the link tab, click that. Now what's in there now is the one that I used previously. So that's the Power Teacher link. I'm going to get rid of that by hitting the Delete key. I'm going to go over to the page I want to link to. Click, and again, Control c or right-click, Copy. Go back to this window. Uh, this time I'll do a right-click, Paste, and Insert Link, and it's right back in there. Okay, now at this point all I have to do is go scroll to the bottom. Very important that you hit save and those active links are right back there like when we started and that's pretty much all there is to putting a link into a document one last little comment uh, keep in mind that you can link to anything that is web based so you can link to other sites as well as google docs sheets uh, slideshows, etc. Anything that has a web address is something that you can link to.